What's up everyone, I'm Dave Mack and welcome to another Digitect tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you a project management tool that was single-handedly developed by someone. It's crazy good. This tool made it possible for me to combine different patterns from different projects in a way faster way than I did before. It's made by M0, which is his username on the Electronauts forum and his uh, performance name is Electric Kitchen and I'll show you the web address in a second. If you like these Digitech tutorials and my other videos, please subscribe to my channel. So, okay, let's just dive right into it, shall we? So to go to the Elkhurt project manager for Digitech, browse to electric.kitchen slash crunch slash elk dash hurt slash beta. And it's currently still in beta, but soon he will release the final version, which will pretty much identical to the one I uh, am showing you right now. So, um, Let's just click get started. Here you'll see the MIDI setup and you'll see MIDI devices, Electron Digitech. Now make sure that your Digitech is either set to USB MIDI or um, uh, overbridge mode. Either one is, uh, is okay. And make sure no other application is using Digitech as a MIDI device, otherwise uh, this won't work. It will say found Digitech 2 with the latest firmware showing, so make sure you have the latest firmware installed. So uh, let's just click manage your Digitech and here we go. Uh, it will start loading the current plus drive on your Digitech and show all the files and folders in there. So if I move over a folder, you will see the samples listed in that folder on the right side. and. Um, you can then rename samples, move uh, move to trash, empty trash. Um, you can send files to the Digitech. You can get files from the Digitech. You can find duplicates. As you can see, I have one duplicate on the plus drive and then uh, find it on the Digitech and delete one of them. And uh, there's also a sof sophisticated help. There's everything you need to know, basically. So um, this is really nice. I still use the Electron uh, transfer app for the plus drive management because I just like the way that is, um, um, yeah, how that looks and how it works. But um, it's still nice that Elkhurt has this as well uh, built in. So let's go to the project manager, because this is the one thing that is, uh, yeah, this is a time saver and it's amazing. And M0 developed this on his own, which is really cool. Um, so if after this video you start using it and you use it a lot, make sure you click here at the top right of Elkhurt and buy him a beer to support this software because he has made it available totally for free which is amazing to me and uh, very generous indeed so um, so let's go over it make sure you have a, a project loaded on the Digitech so uh, let's see I'll just load one of my latest live set projects and um, I'll cl simply click fetch project and it will start fetching project from Digitech here we go and there we go. So now it loaded the, this project into Elkhurt and it's completely disconnected from the one in Digitect until I send it back to the Digitect. So uh, a good thing to do now is to save the file, give it a name and uh, write the file and it will write it and download it into your download folder. There we go. So now I have a, have, a, have backed up this project. In, so um, now I can start moving patterns around to edit this live set of mine and um, alter the, uh, the yeah the sorting so I can change the patterns I want to play when and everything so that's really really nice um, what I can also do is rename go in rename mode and now I can rename each project really quickly which is really nice as well and I can delete uh, projects as well since I've deleted a couple of projects now of course, some samples aren't being used anymore. So what I can do is use this, select and use samples. Oh, only two this time. Uh, and then delete them. Boom. How cool is that? And what I can do, because I, what I can also do in the sample pool editor, I can also uh, make sure that, as you can see, I have empty space here. I click on compact items and it will sort everything, stitch it together uh, in a way. So all the empty spaces are at the end of the sample slot uh, page. Very, very handy feature. So your LFOs that are uh, moving uh, across sample slots uh, won't hit empty spaces anymore. So like I already said, I can send this, this project back to the Digitech right now and then save it. I can also import another project. Let's load another project on the Digitech. Here we go.
So I loaded a new project in the Digitact. I fetched it uh, via the import project button. Now I can select these pro uh, patterns and import them. So as you can see, the more projects I select, the more samples will be imported, uh, but it will see the the samples that are already in the other project, so that won't, those won't be imported uh, into that other project, which is really nice. If I select enough uh, patterns to over, to uh, to import too many samples, it will say that that you exceed the amount of samples that uh, can be imported. Um, so this is also very nice to have that feature. So let's just import these patterns. I hit import, and bam, there they are, and. This is basically it, and now I can move them over to the spots I want them to be in for my live set. And then I can save this file to my computer, to make a backup. I can load a new project on my Digitect. And then send this project to the Digitect. How cool is that? I mean... This was something I was waiting for uh, for a long time. Before I start using uh, Elkert, I, I would do this uh, manually in the Digitect and uh, have an Excel sheet present where I get, kept uh, all my notes regarding samples which were used in which patterns, in which project and everything. And it's really tedious and took me an afternoon sometimes to uh, sort everything out and to clean things up and everything. So that was a really horrible process, to be honest. So I'm really glad this exists. Oh, there's also an undo and a redo function. Yeah, the sound pool works basically the same as the pattern and sample co uh, combined. You can uh, rename sound pool entries and uh, select unused sample, uh, sample pool entries and uh, delete them and compact and everything. I can also select related, which will select all the samples or projects, as you can see, that are related to each other. You can go on and on and we'll select all the samples and all the patterns eventually. Like I said, if you uh, start using this software a lot, please donate uh, a beer to M0, aka Electric Kitchen, uh, so you can uh, keep, uh, yeah, updating this and adding features maybe in the future like uh, uh, consolidate entire project containing all samples and CISX file into a folder on your computer. How cool would that be? So that is Elkhurt. There's a topic on Electronauts where you can ask your questions to M0. Uh, just search for Elkhurt on Electronauts. He's very responsive to uh, bug reports and uh, questions as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and hit the notification button to be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.